Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, the Bonnie Vise Gatherer Plus. I gotta do, I wasn't gonna do another run tonight, my throat's feeling a little caca caca, you know. <laughs> oh, but, I mean, you're on win 20. 6 SS3, 2 whack. We have to try. That's an incredibly good all stats upgrade, minus our HP. So we are in a very strange situation, okay? Things have changed. Going from 2 HP to 1 HP is horrible. We want to reroll, um, but I don't want to reroll yet. I know that sounds crazy. I would, I, I will reroll. I will engage the Zane. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. All I'm saying is I don't really want to invest in that reroll early because I love our present damage. Gotta think about this. I love our present damage. I love the bone tears. I love the rate of fire. So I only want to reroll. If we're bad on, you know, HP. If we walk into a room and we're like, one of these enemies is likely to kill us. I wanted to see a spirit heart in here, and I do see a spirit heart in here. If we can buy the spirit heart... The thing is, I guess I didn't do a good job of explaining it, because my brain is preoccupied trying to think of, you know, what, what's happening right now. Like, this room... Don't even pop it. Um, if I re-roll, it's possible we're going to get more HP. But it's also possible we're going to get a trash item. If we get a trash item, that's where things get real nasty. So here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to stay here. We're going to re-roll. We do not have more HP. And all of our stats got worse. Obviously, that's bad. On the bright side, we do have 99 bombs, and that might be exactly what we need. Why didn't you buy Steam Sale, dude? That might be exactly what we need to get some more Spirit Hearts working here. We're going to reroll again. We're not going to lose the bombs. Now we got 2 HP. Stats are still bad, but we got 2 HP. What do you do with 2 HP? Same thing you do with 1 HP, but better. This is a tactical use of the D100. Now, I recognize, you know, we already... Reroll the good run into some trash, but this is us trying to make our way out of the doldrums because keep in mind we stand a very good chance to get a um, A deal with the devil on this floor. I don't want to reroll too much, but I would reroll this I think because you know the HP stays with us as well Mom's knife, okay, so this is and uh, you have my word. This is where we're gonna stay for this floor after that We'll reroll I will willingly reroll mom's knife. I'm not that much of a traitor. Look at that. Huge. Hello, Tomo. I don't know why I said it with such disdain. I think it's just because I'm in an anxious situation. You know, you, when you're in an anxiety-inducing situation, it makes you more likely to be short to the people around you, even your real human son. Try this on for size again. But for this floor, Mom's Knife is a means to an end. What are we going to do with the D100 uh, after that? I have no idea. Um... Probably keep re-rolling once per floor. I like the once per floor minimum protocol. I think that it works out pretty nicely. It forces you out of your comfort zone, but you're never beholden to trash. If you get a trash run, just re-roll it again in six rooms, as long as your HP holds. I don't like saying the phrase P holds. Diverse papers. It's a tears upgrade. It's worth something. The haunt. Perfect, you know, boss for us to... Knock out here while we got the strongest run we're likely to have for the next few re-rolls, at least. I like the D100, because the D100 is like life, you know? Everybody sees life, I think, when you're on the outside looking in. It's a constantly, like, slightly upwards trajectory. But I imagine, you know, if you look at a long enough time scale, people, even very successful people, don't see it like that, you know? You're going up, there's a bump. You fall down a little bit. Go up a little bit higher after that if you recover. Maybe you fall for a long time. It's not always going up. You know, you see retired people and you go, hey, you guys got it all figured out, but who knows what led them to that point. Maybe they won the lottery. In which case, screw them. <laughs> hey, can you take damage? Love it. Here's the thing. Take. I think we take the HP. Don't reroll it. Because I'd rather have the HP and then keep it while we reroll. Love to see it. 
All right, so there, I told you. We'd use it for one floor. Now we've gotten rid of Mom's Knife. We got Explosion Immunity. Which is worth something, but admittedly quite little. Um, our stats are above average for the start of a run, but not really becoming of a Flooded Caves 1 sort of level. But I'm hesitant to reroll right away, because you know an ability to fly is pretty nice. You never know what kind of extra stuff we could pick up here. I was really hoping that would be a stars card uh, of our days and our nights. The stars in court, Charles in charge of our rounds and the rights. That's like a. I don't like when there's sharp breathing like that in a song. It implies that it's like a kidnapping situation. Anything I want, I want. Charles in charge of me, please give me back my son. I did what you want, now let him go. Hmm. Don't love him. Not worth it yet. Oh no, we wasted a golden bomb. Uh, I'll, I'll check. I'll check it. I love it. I mean, now we got unlimited bombs, effectively. I mean, it's not really what I was looking for right now, but okay. Um, yeah, okay. You know what? I'm willing to go for the reroll. I'm torn between uh, two cities, like Charles Dickens here, but the thing is, and this is much, much better, even though our damage is not as good, uh, a rate of fire, I think, makes up for it. Either way, we're probably going to reroll again pretty soon. But it's like, you know, we're... The more we reroll, the more quickly we're likely to get good transformations. But also, the more likely we are to grab items that are going to, you know, never come back again. And as a result, kind of feel like it was a waste to just leave them behind. But even though we got 2.68 damage, a 5 rate of fire renders us capable of, of keeping the, the dream alive here, if you will. I'm ready. One second. In Kate's chat, it just said, Hooray, let lovely Momo know it's your 51st anniversary. And you know what? It isn't. We've only been married for four years. I mean, I'm only 29 years old, so for us to be at our 51st anniversary would just be ridiculous. But secondarily, I already sent my resubscription notification last Wednesday. How weird is that? Spookiest stories, dude. You have broken my heart. I've decided it turns out 2.6 ain't damage. It's not really where we need to be. Gonna need to up that a little bit. Dare I say it, Matthew McConaughey style? Those are rookie numbers in this game. We need you to pick it up. Locked down. Not concerned. Map not existing. That I'm kind of concerned about. Could there be a more fitting run for win 20? A relatively, you know, kind of milk toast milestone. It's the name of my 100th album, by the way. Guided by voices style. There we go. Spun. All of our other stats kind of tanked, but I like what we got here. Dude, bombs are key. Just bombs are key me. That's all I ask. Ooh, I like Biohazard, too. Actually, not all of our other stats tanked. I think all of our other stats went down a little bit, but not enough to even slightly be concerned about. I don't even care if we go to the item room. We've got unlimited items. But anyway, there's there's no better run for win 20 if we're, you know, looks like we're on pace for it right now. A little bit ahead of schedule, even. Um, a run in which, you know... Nothing is as it seems. It's the way I've lived my life in Isaac. Live my life like there's no tomorrow. I don't know any other lyrics from Running With The Devil by Motley Crue. I always say Motley Crue, but it's actually Van Halen, isn't it? And then people get mad, even though, if I'm being honest, I think they're the same band. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I never had a choice. Excuse me. What happened to two of clubs? Not that we need it. And why are we getting that every time we reroll? I'm not mad. I'm actually, I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm just, I'm curious if anything. So we still need to go to our item room, I think. It's just, I, I have no idea where we are. Did we go to our item room? I don't know, because we've rerolled ten times since then. So I, you know, maybe we did, maybe we didn't. 
Does it matter? No, because as soon as we get to the item room, it's probably going to be four or five rooms away. So very soon after getting the item, we're going to re-roll it. But, you know, this is kind of the principle of the thing, I guess, more than anything else. You know why we're getting that? It's because there was stuff on the ground. It's like I forgot how the game worked. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. I'd be interested to see, and I say this a lot now, I don't actually want anybody to do statistical analysis on Isaac unless it strikes your fancy as well. And some of the experiments or the suggestions are, I have to imagine, extremely complicated to perform them in a way that approaches any degree of scientific rigor, you know? Especially consider it's unpaid and probably nobody's going to read the work beyond the headline. Um, that's, that's rough, you know, I know how it is to some extent at least. Not all of my friends in the, the sciences took the easy way out like I did. We got a job being a, a clown for the internet. Instead, uh, a lot of them still work in thankless roles as laboratory assistants, a junk professors, or more like a junk professor. <laughs> uh, I was gonna put a name on the end of that, but then I didn't, and I think that life is better for it. Mulligan, obviously, is a beautiful item. I'm very happy to have seen it. But in one room, we're going to re-roll it because, you know, it's like I explained. That's exactly how it's going to happen, of course. I think we're right this way. Right and then down. And then right. No, sorry. Right. Then you're going to go down. You're going to go right first. But then after that, you're going to go down. And then you're going to start moving to the left. No, never mind. You're going to continue to move to the straight direction. Love the sun card. So I'm going to come in here and drop it. Use the Ace of Spades. Good on keys for a while. Dude, I actually got scared when I uh, <laughs> when I heard that voice. It was like somebody was in my office with me. It was all quiet. It was just me and my reflection. Then this guy starts dropping these creepy little whispers into my ear. ASMR style. But like horror ASMR. That's probably a thing that really exists. Alright, this is a run, and you know my protocol if you've watched any number of Isaac episodes. This is a run that we could stick with if it turns out to be good. It does not really appear to be. But it's it's almost good. Soy milk plus the pencil is a great combination I never knew that I wanted, to be honest. Once every ten shots, we get an amazing shot, and to be honest with you, I mean, once every 10 shots with soy milk is like once a second. It's actually pretty potent. Now, if that room had been anything more than that, I might have considered it. We have money equals power. That's a really unfortunate item to get with soy milk. I mean, I guess you could argue that maybe... Yeah, you're only getting .01 damage per penny, but, you know, you're shooting the shots out way faster. It's true, but I don't think it's worth... The juice is worth the squeeze, you know what I mean? Nope. Me neither. Uh, yes. Hive mind. When we inevitably get the guppy transformation, that's worth something. I honestly, nun's habit. I'm almost considering downgrading nun's habit in the, you know, in safe investment and Isaac strategies. Used to be a must buy. You had to buy it. One of the best items in the game. Works with so many spacebar items. It's still good. I wouldn't downgrade it from must-buy to situational. I think that's an insult. What I would do, perhaps, is downgrade it from must-buy to situational purchase. I know that's literally what I just said. Um, maybe downgrade it from, like, must-buy to, like, good-buy. You know, from S-tier to A-tier. It's hard, though. There's, like, there's an inertia from, like, Flash Isaac that still exists to some extent. In Flash Isaac, for a year, if you got Nun's Habit in Book of Revelations, that was how you want to run. And that's kind of, like, in my head, I think that's persisted as the way that I evaluate that item. It's still good. But it's not as good as the parameters in the original Flash Isaac version had set up that it was. I think, at least. All right. Stop this. We're at 12 minutes. And then Necropolis 2. I'm trying to think at this point if there's... And I'm not being facetious. I'm not being braggadocious. Is there any way we could lose this run? Beyond the obvious, you know, start playing like absolute trash. Lose so much HP. You know, is there any likely case? 
like a 1 in 20 case where we lose this run. And I don't think there is. We just got too much HP snowballed off of the D100 too quickly. So even though, again, I always say it, dude. Some people out there, I think, are falsely under the impression that the D100 is exclusively a meme item. It's not the case. It's actually maybe... It's close to the best item in the game. There are better items. I would never suggest that, you know... Oh, Leech is marooned. I would never suggest it's the best item in the game. But I'm not being, you know, just contrarian when I say that if you look... If you stab me down with a pen and a pad, don't even think about it. Six gun, weighing a ton, ten paces in turn just for fun, son. You stab me down with a pen and a pad... I'd probably put it top 10. Now, if I put the D100 top 10, I don't know. It's, it's funny. Oh, I should not have come in there. And uh, did you believe that that was an accident? Anyway. I think we have Goathead, too, because we just had a deal, didn't we? Easy fight. Dude, we haven't had a run this powerful in a long time. So we're going to get Guppy. Check this out. We're going to really mess with it. We're going to take Book of Belial. And then we're going to use D100 to re-roll it. No transformation. It makes me a very sad boy right now. Um, we already have Beelzebub. I think I'm willing to go for it. We're going to get so many re-rolls. And I don't think we're in danger of breakfast. We've re-rolled a lot, but I don't think we're in danger of breakfast. I hope. Dude, I don't know what happened, but about like a third of the way into this run, so, you know, the past like 10 minutes or so, all my brain can think about, and I think it's putting, you know, a little problem in my commentary, is the chorus to Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. I heard it this weekend, and when I heard it, I remarked to Kate. I said, oh, they usually don't play Man in the Mirror on the radio. It's usually, you know, Billy Jean beat it, gotta be there, wanna be starting something. What is happening? So I was happy to hear Man in the Mirror, because I think it's a virtuosic, uh, I don't think that's how you say it, is the performance of a vocal virtuoso, you know? I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his way. It's got a good message, too. But then I thought that was that. Little did I realize that my brain was going to hold me hostage. It's just got a great cadence to it, you know? I understand Michael Jackson, controversial figure. I don't think it's controversial to say that uh, that song absolutely owns. I mean, he was called the king of pop for a reason. It didn't have to do with soda. Polyphemus and proptosis. What on earth? This might be where we stay. And if anybody complains about this, I'm sorry to tell you. Probably not the first person to let you know. You hate fun. You get Polyphemus or Proptosis, most of the time, you go easy win. You get Polyphemus and Proptosis, you thank the Lord above. No, don't! He extinguished the poop! Now I want to re-roll, because you extinguished the poop. I extinguished the poop. I'm looking for the man who hates feces. He slightly impeded my tears. I'd like to finish this run of Isaac. Let's we'll go over a nice seafood dinner. Have a plate of clams and maybe a beer. Oh, you don't like ordering a, a plate of clams when you go to a restaurant? <laughs> I'm ordering a big plate of seafood. Mollus and also bivalves. Okay, that's just... Heinous. I'm sorry if you're trying to sleep. I'm in a musical mood. You gotta be honest, okay? Man in the Mirror is a wonderful song. Top tier. I love the classic Michael Jackson tracks as much as the next guy. Billie Jean, beat it. Want to be starting something? Don't waste your time, because the gosh darn girl is mine. Absolutely. I'm, dude, again, I've said many times. Many, many times, dare I suggest. Um, it's insane to me that want you back, you know. Ooh, baby, give me one more chance. Tell you that I love you. Well, I can't sing as well as 10-year-old Michael Jackson, but what I was going to say is, it's insane to me that at one point in the United States, a 
12 year old or a band fronted by a 12 year old had a number one song in the Billboard Hot 200. That's insane. Back then it was the Billboard uh, Hot 163 because, you know, inflation. But still, you know why the Billboard Hot 200 had a song that was sung by a 12 year old go to number one? Because the song rules. It's an incredible piece of soul and pop songwriting. It's the catchiest song ever made, perhaps, in my opinion. So I obviously I shouldn't have done this, but you know, I never had a choice. But I gotta say, Man in the Mirror is probably respected as a B-tier Michael Jackson song and as a slap in the friggin' face. Because it owns. This is how you lose the run. Marked plus Ipecac plus Isaac's Heart. So we'll get the heck away from that as soon as is humanly possible. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, now that we've gotten through that, we really did get rid of like, you know, maybe half of the run killing items you could ever possibly have in one run, so. Feeling a little bit more confident. This one is not that good though. Here's the thing. I shouldn't have re-rolled. Because we were in a really good spot, okay? The run was really good. But, it could be better. <laughs> it's not sound scientific reasoning or probabilistic reasoning, okay? But I always, in the back of my head, I'm not a gambler in real life at all. I, I don't despise gambling, but, uh, you know, I, I mostly don't understand it. Because I think I'm one of those people that feels like when I lose at gambling, my self-esteem plummets. And when I win at gambling, I go, okay, no big change in my life. Like, if I lost $1,000 at the casino, I would be devastated. I would, like, I would have to hang my head in shame. And I'd come home to my wife and be like, Kate, I lost $1,000 at the casino. And she would be like, what did you do? And I'd be like, I don't know. I, I haven't concocted that part of the story yet. But, you know, if I came back and I was like, she was like, hey, how was the casino? And I'd be like, it was pretty good. I won $1,000. I think we'd both be like, oh, that's nice. At least you didn't lose it. <laughs> I just, uh, I, and that that goes for like one dollar, as as much as it goes for a thousand. That's why, and uh, you know, I recognize. I've said it many a time. If you've heard the bit before, I apologize for repeating it so many times. There's a story in like 2010 of this British guy who uh, put his house up and his life savings. Maybe it was just his life savings, but you know, he had like. 200 great British pounds and a little bit of money as well. Um, no, he had 200 great British pounds. And he put it on black at the casino roulette. He won. I'm happy he won because this man is too stupid to survive with zero money. It's really better for society that he won. And I'm happy, you know, oh, no, the casino had to pay out. Who cares, right? It's a, it's a good story. I'm happy for him. But he said in, in his interview, he was like, I, I was going to do a British accent, and I thought better of it, okay? Out of respect. Uh, he was like, well, I, I wanted to quit my job and start a new life, so... Uh, yeah, I just figured, why don't we take all the proceeds from the old life and uh, just let it ride. And either I'll enter my new life with twice as much money, or I'll get a fresh start. And I was like, dude, you are an idiot. You are an actual moron. <laughs> that is not how it works at all. You know why? Just go from, let's just say it's dollars, okay? To go from $200,000 to $400. Sorry, to go from $200,000 to $400,000. Noticeable improvement. Absolutely. Does your life get twice as nice? Probably not. But it's definitely a noticeable improvement. To go from $200,000 to zero. Incredibly devastating change. Actually, like, you know, from financially... 10 times better than the average person our age. He's probably like 10 years older than me, but you know what I mean. A lot of people, possibly the majority of people, have like less than $2,500 in their savings account. And you're just going to throw 200 on a dice roll at the casino in the name of starting on a clean slate. That's insane. You're out of your mind. Now he won, so who's the stupid one? If you said me, go to the casino, because it's still him. <laughs> that was still a very stupid thing. But it worked out. Sometimes stupid things work out. Doesn't change the fact that it was uh, not really a sound choice. Now, 
I think you're noticing probably what I'm noticing. The rerolls are starting to get a little bit less transformative roll to roll. And that's always very scary. Because it means we might be start. I uh, shouldn't have walked into that, but we have Holy Mantle. And we've had Holy Mantle for a while. We might be starting to get into breakfast territory. And I would really rather not be there. And yet here we are. I think... Here's the thing. This current run is pretty good. You know, Parasitoid Tears. Relatively strong. I don't know why... I don't think our hive mind has stayed around. I thought it would. I don't know why I thought it would. Only transformations stick. So I think we're going to use this for a little while. But I genuinely, in my heart of hearts, believe we still have some rerolls. Where's Epic Fetus? Where's Dr. Fetus? You know? Guppy might be a different story. I don't know if we have access to the Guppy pool, because I, I don't believe that we took any Guppy items, but... Still? In my head, I'm kind of like... You know. Maybe there's a chance. We got to deal with the Devil items we could reroll. Maybe that'll help. Are you not dead? Hey, this is a cybercrime, man. You got no HP. Nice try. Okay, this is for win 20. Just hold it together. Focus for another 10 minutes. You got nothing to worry about. We'll take this to get closer to Bookworm. Everything else, see you in heck. No transformations. Certainly not breakfast. So I'm not feeling too bad about that. Um... What is happening? Did you see the shots? Uh, like, the amount of poop that we shot out of this man? How did that happen? I think this run is actually incredible. I'm glad I didn't get spooked, dude. Because, like... Are you seeing this? We get to keep Holy Mantle as well? Yeah, this is weird. I don't think we should roll again. You know, we got Parasitoid Tears. We got, uh... We actually do have Hive Mind now? But we have Static Tears, or Jacob's Ladder. Um, snot Tears. Lots of flies. We're not Guppy, but... Oh my lord, what what is happening? Why did our Rate of Fire just go up three? I have no idea. So here's the thing. We, we're in easy win territory right now. Absolutely no question. And uh, where's the fun in that? So what I'm going to do is take us from 100% win to like 99.5. I'm going to re-roll just before the boss. Ah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to re-roll just before the boss. And the idea is, you know, if the re-roll sucks, maybe we can go to more rooms and get another re-roll. If the re-roll is great, hey, even better. We got a little bit more variety in this run. Second secret room? No, regular secret room. I'm looking at the regular secrets. I'm asking them for Black Lotus. Well, I guess it's time to start getting my acceptance speech ready. There are those who said it couldn't be done, and I looked with a smile and said maybe it couldn't. But I'm going to venture forth anyway. 20 wins in Isaac, a landmark achievement. Most people barely sniff at getting two wins in a row. So they say the hardest streak in Isaac is two, next hardest at 19. And nobody on earth has ever even dared to approach a 20 streak with good reason. Oh no! What? I couldn't resist. I shoot out one? What? I don't know what's happening. This is... Absolutely sweet. <laughs> I don't know, dude. We got some kind of like... I think we have like maybe strange attractor or something going on here. But it's like... It's tractor beam, dunce cap, monstro's lung, but fast rate of fire. Plus we still have our static tears. So when we shoot, it shoots. You know, it's a, it's a large stream of bullets. I'm for it, but I'm also very confused. 
But that's not an unusual position for me to be in. Yeah, okay. Dare I reroll before the boss? I do not dare. I will continue to use this. I'll reroll after the boss. And then we can be like, oh, it would have been so much fun if we'd re-rolled into that for the boss. But I'm really not going to jeopardize our strange but beautiful 20 win streak. Here we go, dude. I got to say, 10 to 20, a lot harder than uh, 0 to 10. And yet here we are, 20 wins in a row. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm so great. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.